Okay, so this is going to be the uh, video that I'm putting out for the upgraded uh, steering servo. Uh, this is a pretty good servo. It's uh, AGFRC. The servo is going to be the A35BHM. It's an 8.5 kg servo. Uh, the specs on it are as such. At 8.4 volts, it's zero, sorry, 0 0.065 seconds and uh, 8.4 volts it's 118 ounce per inch or 8.5 kg centimeters very very good servo great for the size now this is a drop-in replacement so you don't need to use the uh, reefs micro mount or anything like that it fits right in and it's also a programmable uh, servo which the reefs 99 is not so what i was able to do was uh, i centered it so that um, the server was dead center, but I did that with the software without having to adjust anything over here or on the transmitter to keep my, my trim at zero. I also reduced the travel of the, uh, the servo arm so that I'm able to have the, uh, I'm able to have the endpoints on at 100 and 100 so you get full resolution and it's not uh, uh, forcing past the endpoint or anything like that. And as you can see, uh, pretty fast so yeah this is a uh, definitely a, an upgrade from the stock servo i actually think it's an upgrade from the uh, the reefs 99 for a few reasons number one it's about the same strength as it and it's also well, i actually think the reefs 99 is like uh, 100 ounce per inch or something like that whatever they're right around the same size uh, sorry right around the same strength but this is actually a bigger servo, so it's got a, a better mass for heat dissipation. Uh, it's also the same size as the original, so it fits right in the place without having to have that extra uh, mounting bracket. And it's programmable, so I mean, what more can you ask for? And on top of the, uh, on top of that, you can also adjust how sensitive the servo is and how strong it is. So if it's a little too powerful for you, you can actually pull the power back a little bit. And as it is right now, it's still at the factory setting, which is like 80%. You can actually still turn it up around another 20% and get more power out of it. Um, yeah, I mean, all around, it's just a, a really good servo. Even costs right around the same price as the Reef 99. But you don't have to buy the mounting bracket, so I mean, in the end, it is cheaper. Oh yeah, one other feature that this does have is uh, the servo is designed so that it has a built-in protection system so that if you do turn the steering too far to one side, for instance, and it's trying to force past the, a point it can't go past, the, the, the servo actually notices the spike in amps and then dials back the power so you're not actually gonna force uh, past the point, you're not gonna destroy your, uh, your, your linkages and stuff like that, and you're also not gonna burn up the, e the, the servo itself. I mean, there's a couple of really good features about this servo. I've, I've only seen these features on the most premium servos, kind of like reefs. But uh, I did hear somewhere that this is the, same, the manufacturer that actually produces and manufactures the reef servos for Reefs RC. Yeah, that's 100, 100 on the steering. So yeah, with that, uh, this would be my definite recommendation for an upgrade on the steering servo for the, uh, the Red Cat Lowrider.